Dear students, welcome to the course Network Theory. In the previous video, I discussed the concepts of source transformations. Basically, three uh, methods are there source with equivalent terminal characteristics, source conversion, and then source shifting. Okay. So today in this video, we'll be discuss the first variety of source conversion and based on that two problems we will solve. Okay. So just have a pen and paper, a notebook and paper and along with me, uh, try to solve. Okay. So this is the first problem. Uh, using source transformation, find current through load resistance RL in the circuit shown in figure. Okay. So draw this circuit. So there will be three batteries connected in parallel and which are in series with respective resistances, five ohm, 12 ohm and four ohm. And this complete registry is in parallel with, circuitry is in parallel with load resistance RL, which is equal to 10 ohm, okay. So this was the question asked in uh, video question papers, okay. So source transformation. So what we need to find, find the current through load resistance RL here, okay. So how to do, do this using source transformation? Okay, so to find the current through this, we require a, a simplified network. Okay, so using this network, we could not do any uh, much, right? So we need to apply KCL. Okay, so KCL we can apply and we can find out, but they have specifically told source transformation. So what we need to do is the parallel voltages, we could not directly do any manipulation. So we need to convert this voltage source in series into current source in parallel. So previously we have discussed that, what is the formula? So now we have to convert this into current source means I, I is equal to V by R. So 22 by 5 amps is the current source and resistance RS is equal to RP. So 5 ohm will be as it is, okay? So which uh, similarly we'll do it for remaining two also. We'll show it in next slide, okay. So here, the 22 volt and 5 ohm, okay. So I is 22 by 5 amps here. Similarly, second case, 12 ohm resistor is there, 48 volt is there. So 48 by 12 amps, which is equal to approximately 4 amps, okay. And the resistance value will not change, but only orientation will come in parallel, okay. Then current source, next one, you have the 12 volt and a 4 ohm resistance in series. So current source 12 by 4, which is approximately 3 amps and which is in parallel with the same resistance. Resistance value will not change. And this 10 ohm, we are not going to change it as it is. So next condition, what we are going to do, there are three current sources in parallel. So from the property of parallel connection, current sources in parallel, we can add the three currents, okay? So that is what shown here in this step. 22 by 5 amps plus 48 by 12 plus 12 by 4 as it is written. Then 22 by 5 plus this is 4, this is 3. So using the calculator, find out 22 by 5 will be uh, 5, 4, uh, right? So 4.4, 4, 4 4.4 plus 7 here. So it is 11.4 amps, correct? So that will be placed over here. So this network now reduces to a single current source of value 11.4 amps. Similarly, we need to calculate the three parallel resistance. Now, it does not include RL, except that remaining three you take and denote it as R equivalent. So how you calculate resistances in parallel? One by R equivalent equal to, so one by five plus one by 12 plus one by four, reciprocal of the resistance values. So now if you take the LCM here, so this is 60. So here five, uh, 12 are, then here 12 fives are and four 15 are. So you'll get 32 by 60. So this is one by R equivalent. So from this, if you calculate R equivalent, which is reciprocal 60 by 32, which will give you 1.875 ohm. So that is what uh, written over here, 1.87 ohm. So the complete circuitry we reduced into now single current source and single resistance. And this is already there, the load resistance. So now we need to calculate the current through this load resistance for that what we can do, so using source transformation, again, this current source in parallel with resistance, we convert it into voltage source in series with resistance so that we can apply the KVL, okay? So to convert voltage source, what is the formula? V is equal to IR, okay? So apply that and reduce the network first and then calculate. 
so this is the value okay so what is the current there 11.4 into 1.875 so use the calculator and find out you will get 21.375 so that step is shown here v is equal to ir it will give you 21.375 volt okay so steps are necessary then the resistance value is same but which will be in series now so now you got one closed loop okay so apply the kvl here so you have minus plus here so this is a voltage drop plus minus similarly this is plus minus right so now apply the kvl so this minus to plus voltage rise we consider plus so 21.375 so this is plus minus is the opposite to this so it is drop so which is given as voltage through this resistance is r into i i we don't know right i is we have taken i and r value is 1.875 i so i we have to calculate right minus again plus minus is there so it is minus 10 into i okay which is equal to 0 from the kvl so now you uh, add these two okay minus 1.875 minus 10 which will give you 11.875 and this you take it right side okay this minus term take it right side it will become plus 11.875 and you can rearrange the equation so 11 point so directly i have written the steps okay so adding these two minus taking right side and rearranging equation you will get 1.11.875 i is equal to 21.375 so from this i you can calculate 21.375 by 11.875 which will give you from the calculator 1.8 amps okay so current through load resistance in the circuit is 1.8 amp so there are different methods are there for same circuit but they specifically we mention which method you have to use source transformation that's why we converted first voltage source in series into a current source in parallel then we have calculated then again current source in parallel we converted into voltage source in series and applied the basic laws right so resistances in parallel current sources in parallel okay uh, applying kvl ohms law okay so these are the things we have discussed in basic concepts and that only we applied here okay only the source transformation is the new method remaining all are you learnt in earlier okay so similarly we will see one more problem uh, same way on the same source conversion hope it is clear so go through once again if uh, any steps is uh, not understood um write it on notebook so that once you write it will be more clear to you okay note down the second problem calculate the current through two ohm resistor for the circuit shown in figure using source transformation okay so this is the question again two times asked in exams okay so you have a 5 amp current source in parallel with 3 ohm that is in series with 4 ohm and here you have a 7 ohm uh, this is a diamond shape meaning what and there is a symbol right this is a dependent source and since it is a current so dependent current source which is in parallel with the resistor 17 ohm then you have a 2 ohm resistor this is what they told find the current through 2 ohm resistor so this i you need to calculate okay so what is this i you have to calculate and then again 9 ohm and 1 amp okay so dependent source is a new one so as it is we are doing it okay so as other sources are present same way we are going to calculate it only thing is here vx so what is vx vx is shown here okay so it may be near to that but it is dependent on this value so what is this vx vx from ohms law calculated as i into r what is current i here that is you need to calculate that is i into r2 so 2i vx value is equal to 2i so you need, you can substitute that in the vx later okay so now what is the first step you can do by looking at the observation see i may be solving one or two problems so in exam always there will be a new problems not a same one right so you need to find out the first step okay so that is the uh, thing here so that you can get the idea so now here source transformation so we can current source in parallel with resistance is there so we can convert this into voltage source into resistance okay so that you can calculate this path at least easily then you have a dependent current source in parallel with resistance you can make it dependent voltage source into series resistance then again you have current source in parallel with resistance you can make voltage source in series with resistance so in the first step you make this all the current three current sources you convert it into 
voltage source in series with resistance okay that is the step we will take so as you solve the problem you should able to understand which step i should take first okay so it will be not so difficult it will be easy okay so look at the steps so go through the first network so there was a 5 amp current and there is a 3 ohm resistance so voltage source means i into r i have not written the formula again only first problem i have shown now i am able to do directly you can write 15 volt 5 into 3 15 volt and resistance came in series so one branch is gone right so now as it is you write okay nothing you do so next here dependent voltage source so which side you have the arrow mark so you made uh, plus and another side you made minus okay so what is the value of this voltage source 17 into 3 vx okay as it is you will take so it is 51 vx you got then resistance is in series it will not change 17 ohm itself then you have 2 ohm and here the current source again converted so you had the 1 ohm 1 amp current and the 9 ohm resistance so 9 into 1 it is 9 volt resistance is in series okay so what we can do for next step so you have two resistances in series here and here you have three resistances in series so these two you can solve simply just adding those values so this is 3 plus 4 7 okay and here it is 17 plus 2 19 19 plus 9 28 okay that is what written over here so still problem is not simplified so next step what we can do again this voltage source in series you can convert it into current source in parallel so that this parallel resistance also you can remove okay so that is the step we will take up next so you note down pause the video and note down or write down okay i will be proceeding so the same thing i done okay so what was the voltage source it was 15 volt and the 7 ohm resistance current is equal to v by r so 15 by 7 amps okay so now 7 ohm and this 7 ohm was already there and remaining circuit we are not touching as it is okay so then what will happen here 7 ohm and 7 ohm both are same resistances they are in parallel so equivalent resistance is so if you take it is 1 by 7 plus 1 by 7 what you will get 2 by 7 right 1 by 7 plus 1 by 7 is 2 by 7 reciprocal if you take 7 by 2 you will get okay you can roughly do that side so you'll get 3 and 5 so that's why i have not shown that so here i have shown right one bar equivalent equal to the resistance in parallel so which is 3 ohm so that 3 ohm i have written here 15 by 7 amps 3.5 ohm and remaining as it is so next very simple so next what you can do again this so to simplify this resistance i took converted this so now again i will convert it back into a voltage source in series with resistance so that i will get a single closed loop so that i can easily apply the kirchhoff's voltage law same as in previous problem i can get the current in the circuit okay no done okay so first we are converting into voltage source so it is 3.5 ohm resistance with current 15 by 7 i into r so 3.5 by uh, 2 times 7 and 2 7.5 times the 15 so that's why answer is 7.5 you can use the calculator also resistance is 3.5 ohm and this remaining as it is is there so now you get a one closed circuit so it is simplified still any simplification is there you can do so there is a two resistances these are in series you can make it one so that's what done 28 plus 3.5 is equal to 31.5 ohm so remaining as it is okay so now you have to find the current in this resistor and also you have to substitute vx is equal to 2i very first i told no vx is nothing but the current through 2 ohm resistor which is 2i so that you have to substitute and you have to solve as earlier okay so this is the final step so apply the kvl to this circuit okay so if you need help okay so you are familiar with now applying kvl so here you have minus plus here you have minus plus voltage rise so this is plus minus here it is a voltage drop so you consider this as plus minus and this is plus minus okay so two plus terms and two minus terms you have okay so that is what i have noted down there okay so you refer the diagram which you are noted down in the notebook 
so one is 7.5 plus 51 vx both are plus voltage rise then um, through ohm's law it is 31.5 ohm resistance into current 31.5 into i minus 9 okay equal to 0 now substitute vx equal to 2i which i mentioned earlier so substitute in that so 7.5 plus 51 into 2i minus 31.5 i minus 9 equal to 0 so next step what you have to do you have to simplify right so 51 into 2i is how much 102i minus 31.i and the 7.i i am taking right side and 9 also i am taking right side okay so both i am taking right side so minus 9 becomes plus 9 and plus 7.5 become minus 7.5 okay so here also i am subtracting this 102 and minus 31.5 so you'll get 70.i and here it is 1.5 okay so you came to final step i is equal to now 1.5 by 7.5 okay which is equal to 21.2766 milliamps so first calculate this in calculator 1.5 by 70.5 you will get some answers in 0 0.02 something then eng button is there in your calculator right so click that you will get in milliamps okay so if you click shift eng you will get back the answer in reverse amps okay like that if you get eng one times milliamps two times it will be microamps three times nanoamps like that same way to come back shift you have to press okay so you have to keep always the current values in uh, amps okay or if it is a point some value you keep in milliamps or microamps okay so current through two ohm resistor for the circuit is 21.2766 milliamps so this is the problem very simple so go through the two problems again, note down in the notebook, okay? So in the next class, we'll discuss the source shift problems, okay? So these are the two varieties we have in this uh, syllabus, okay? Hope it is clear. Any doubts, you can ask me, okay? Thank you.